All right, let's cut to it. If you're a freelance or content creator juggling 12 things at once, Kling AI might just become your new best friend, or it could be another overhyped AI tool. I spent the last week putting it to the test, and in this video, I'll tell you exactly what I liked, what I didn't, and whether it's worth your time. So yeah, watch this before signing up. And if you do decide to check it out at any point during this video, there's a link below to sign up at the best price available, or you can scan the QR code on screen right now. But let's talk about whether it's actually worth your time or not. See, I'm a full-time freelancer. That means I'm scripting videos like this one, editing visuals, running socials, and occasionally forgetting what the sun looks like. So when I heard about Kling AI, a tool that bundles AI image generation, voiceovers, upscaling, and even short form video help, I thought, okay, this could either save me hours or just be another meh app. So let's start with the star feature, image generation. Think doll E or mid journey, but with a bit more flexibility for marketing use. You can generate custom images in a range of styles, photorealistic, digital art, 3D, even watercolor if that's your vibe. I use it to mock up a product launch visual and it legit looked like something out of a paid campaign. Is it perfect every time? Nah. You might get the occasional alien hand, but it's fast, flexible, and way more usable than most. This is where Kling AI surprised me. Their AI voiceover feature is really not bad. It doesn't sound robotic like in early days. You can choose from a range of voices, tweak tones, pacing, even emotions. I tested it for a client's Instagram ad and they didn't even know it wasn't a real person. So for solo creators or marketers, this can be a real game changer. Now, if you're on the premiere plan, you get image upscaling, which honestly feels like a cheat code. I tested a grainy image from an old campaign, ran it through Kling's upscale tool, and suddenly it was sharp enough for print. This is super helpful if you're reusing content or working with less than ideal assets. Now, if you're into short form video, TikToks, Reels, Shorts, then their Master Shorts video extension is worth a look. It helps structure, trim, and polish short form content fast. It's not a full editor like Premiere or CapCut, but for creators looking to batch create content, it's solid. Okay, not everything's perfect, two things to flag. First, the UI can be a little clunky, especially if you're switching between tools quickly. It's not a deal breaker, but expect a learning curve. Second, some advanced features like video tools and upscaling are locked behind higher tier plans. So if you're on a tight budget, that might sting a bit. If you're a freelancer who needs visuals, voiceovers, and video content on demand, or a creator trying to grow across platforms without hiring a team, Clean AI hits a sweet spot. It's not the deep dive video editors or hardcore illustrators, but for multi-hat creatives, it's a huge time saver. I've dropped a link below if you want to look into Clean AI further, or you can simply scan that QR code if it fits your workflow it might really be able to help you with your projects. 